So today's video is part three in a series of videos that I am creating all about this niche that I have discovered on eBay and how I'm going about it. I've been selling on the platform for over 18 years and I've been married for over 42 and I have found the one thing that is making my husband absolutely crazy. And uh, you would probably agree with them. So you wanna stick around, you wanna watch this episode and uh, discover what eBay truly looks like. My name is Susan. Welcome to my channel and let's get started. Saturday morning in Mesa, Arizona. It's gonna be hot again. Getting ready to go over and steal the neighbor's trash can. Our neighbors are Canadians and so they spend half their time in Canada. They stay where it's cool, they're pretty smart people. Uh, but while they're gone, I get to use their trash can. And today you're gonna to find out why I need their trash can and a couple other neighbors' trash cans. So today I'm gonna to be uh, talking about what I do with all the extra parts that I don't sell on eBay. So right now, my focus is all just on baby gear. So, neighbor's trash can. Thank you, Frank and Liz. I love you, miss you, see you soon. I'll be missing this trash can when they get back. So the hardest part about what I do is that there's a lot of trash, right? So we take apart baby gear and there are things that people don't need. They're looking for those pieces that they're missing. Usually it's like the fabric seat cover, toys, obvious things, but then there's some not so obvious parts that I end up keeping that people actually need. It is not uncommon for people to reach out to me if I have specific, I can't say that word, if I have specific parts that they need for their unit. And then I go, oh wow, people need this. And then I start listing that. So feedback from your customers, uh, messages from your customers, letting you know what they need. That's why it's always good to be responsive to your customer when they message you on eBay. So we're gonna get in that backyard and I'm gonna show you a pile of stuff that needs to be gone through. And I'll explain that when we get back there. We're gonna get started. So this is a day in a life for me uh, when I'm working on Saturday. A dog will be barking. I'll probably turn on his blower again. So we're gonna fight the noise, the background noise, and I will speak as loud as I can and yes, I know I need to buy some mics. Uh, I just keep forgetting. I will get to that, but I can talk really loud. I was the youngest of eight. And so in order to survive in a family that large, you have to learn to speak very loudly. Let's get going. And uh, I'm gonna pull the trash can up and I'm gonna start throwing stuff away. These come off of the bottom of a jumperoo. Some people do sell these in a set, but I'm not selling them currently because they take up a lot of space. Now, there's these little foot things. I can see these breaking. This is plastic and rubber. So we may eventually start taking these out and selling these. The point of this video is to show you and open up your mind to things that people may need that you had never even thought of. So who would have thought that people would need some of these bouncer swing parts? Now I'm gonna show you what the manufacturers are starting to do on this baby gear. Sorry, let me fix my hair what the manufacturer is starting to do on baby gear. So instead of using screws, they're using brads. So this is a plastic piece, so which will easily break in the future, rendering this wing useless. Now, this isn't too huge together like this, that we could ship this probably pretty reasonably, probably for like 13 bucks. And if somebody is missing this part because it didn't get packed up or passed on or got missed in moving, whatever the case may be, this might actually be a good piece to start listing. So I'm just gonna set it aside for now. Now I have seen people sell these bases, these two pair of bases. Again, more than likely, it's just because they got lost. But I am not keeping them because they take up a lot of space. And if you watch my last video, I don't have a lot of space in this house and I'm utilizing a ton of it. Now I know this is a good piece, uh, so we'll set this aside. It's a good piece because see how there's a the brand it's plastic so I can see this piece breaking or I've seen people selling I don't know if you can see it I'm gonna try to get it up there maybe you can see it now they're the little clicker things that the poles click into I have actually seen people just selling these little guys I'm keeping these for right now I might just kind of limit up so many of these but we're gonna keep that for just for right now now I don't have the ability here, but when I get to Tennessee, I, 
I will definitely go out and get a metal dumpster. I don't have that ability here right now. So please, I hope I haven't offended any of you already um, because we're throwing out some of these parts that could be recycled. Going through all of this hot mess to see what is possibly here that we can sell. Now, um, we haven't said these yet, but this is a piece I really want to list. It came off of an Ingenuity and it's got this plastic piece and this plastic piece locks and unlocks the swing. I'm pretty sure anyway. Let's see. I don't know. It does something. Because this is plastic, I'm pretty confident that this mechanism will break at some point and some parent will want it. They will not want to invest in a whole new swing. They know it's their last child and um, they will need this piece. So we're going to keep that piece. This is actually considered husband zone. I do try to keep the table cleared off for him. Into this business, I've only been niching down into this business for about nine months. So these two pieces go together. This piece has, and I know what this comes from, um, this comes from a bouncer by Ingenuity. And see how it has a metal or it has a cord in it? Uh, these can easily be cut by husbands or frantic moms or who knows, little brothers and sisters or big brothers and sisters, who knows. But it comes off with this Ingenuity bouncer that lights up. And so this goes into the toy bar that makes it light up and do its thing. So we are definitely going to keep these. And that they're together like this, even better. Yeah, I can see this breaking. I'm going to keep this one too. Now what we can do, I showed you this earlier. I showed you this piece, right? I showed you this piece with the mechanism on it. Um, these two actually don't go together. Uh, they're two different shades of gray. But it's basically an ingenuity. These are from ingenuity swings. One's a left, one's a right. Now, what I can do, and this is work too, is I might just sell this side, and then I might potentially put them together and sell them as a pair. Um, so there's lots of ways that you can look at this. And so now I don't just have one listing for a pair, but I have three because I'm going to sell them separately as well. Put this one out here. Probably kind of give a whole heads up radar. Hey, Susan, you might want to look at this. So it's from a swing. Whoops. Anyway, it's from a swing. She took it apart. Now, uh, this book could easily be lost after dad takes it apart after baby number one. He goes back baby number two, and he can't find this bolt. Uh, I have Ingenuity bolts that I sell for approximately $10 a pair. Um, so keep this little guy, and we're going to keep this guy because he's a cover. Again, he's plastic. He could... Uh, if they have to swing outside, this might crack and they, they would need that to keep the swing together. So you're starting to see how my brain is thinking. If anything's going to break, it's going to be this plastic piece, right? Plastic just doesn't hold up. That's why you see me getting a red of a lot of these big bulky metal pieces. This comes from a bottom of an Ingenuity swing. And believe it or not, this has a magnet in it. And that's what gets the swing moving back and forth, this, ba uh, this magnet. So, um... We tell the covers by themselves. I actually think that we could just be selling this magnet piece as well. Again, because why? Because it's plastic. I'm going to keep these because they're a pair of feet. And they're covered in what? Plastic. Kind of concern. And what I'm doing and what I'm showing you is that you're looking for pieces that could possibly break. So you can say listed, but for me, I catalog everything. So I know what parts go to what specific baby gear. I'm just going to put that word across the screen. But that'll probably be the last video that I do is to show you my catalog. You see, I can see this being important. It's heavy, heavy. And so if I can, and there's another plastic piece in there. So again, this is coming from that bouncer. So I'm going to see if I can find, this is clearly a right and I'm going to look for the left. I told you in the other video, eBay is not glamorous. Um, it's hard work and, um, Oh, I've made a dent in the table. My end game is actually to open a Shopify store. Before I go down that rabbit hole, I would like to exhaust eBay. I want to focus on my listings uh, that be competitive on eBay and get eBay to push customers to my site, right? My store is a mess. That's another hurdle that we have to cross. Um, again, we'll talk about that later. So many videos that are going to be in relation to this whole niche market of partying out items. Now, some of you might be saying, what a waste, Susan. Look at all the stuff you're throwing away. You're filling up the landfills. But you got to remember, if I didn't sell these parts, how many of these swings would be going to the landfill? 
quite a few actually. I might dig, be dispersing 10 parts from a swing out to 10 different people who if they didn't get the part would throw away the whole unit. So I'm throwing away part of one swing and saving 10 others. So again, I'd eventually like to have a metal scrap bin uh, that I put all this stuff in, but I currently don't have that access. I kill one swing in hopes of saving 10 from the landfill. So let's take a look at the garbage bin. Uh, I've gotten through everything, but um, I'm hoping to make a huge dent in this before I finish for today and clean it up so it looks a little bit nicer for my husband when he comes home from work. But let's just take a look at the bin that I've been filling up. So it's not quite full. Sorry, the sun is not our friend, is it? So it's not quite full and there's lots of ways. Typically, I'm much better at filling these up and I entertain them. I keep a little bit of actress. So uh, we can definitely keep going. This bin. I can always ask Angela and Angie across the street if I can use their trash can. So if you don't know who Angela and Angie are, they are my wonderful neighbors across the street. They work collectively uh, 20 hours a week, so 10 hours each. And they come in here and they break down uh, the sand, all the things, all the baby gear. Uh, Angie breaks them down and uh, creates this pile for me. And Angela looks them up in our catalog and uh, she gives it a skew and adds it to eBay inventory. Now some of these at, at the end, I might sort them out and decide if I want to keep as many as I've kept on some of the new things that I'm going to add to inventory. So you could say that I'm just kind of testing the market. I've created a model that I think is pretty easy for employees to follow. It breaks it down into specific tasks. That's why it makes it easier for me to hand off work and go and work a full-time job. Now, I was able to do this when I wasn't working, get this business started and get the catalog developed. Um, it's not where I want it to be, but it's in a good place. I'm gonna switch over to another side. Um, we've been working on this table for a bit. We've gotten Frank's garbage can pretty much full, Frank and Liz. Um, so I'm gonna put the garbage over to the other side and I'm gonna show you um, what else we have to contend to when we're breaking down these boxes. Not only these parts, but the boxes that they come, they came in. Check that out. It's cost effective for me to keep it and more for the customer to have it. Um, this is a big piece. I don't feel like this is a heavy duty piece. This is a piece that would ever break. Again, they've used brad, so I can't take that plastic piece off. It will cost way too much for the customer uh, to get. Now, this is the piece I've been meaning to list because it has so many moving parts on it. Um, so I'm just going to put this in my pile to keep for now. Yeah, my pile to keep is pretty big, actually. Close. This is a little bulb. But we do, in fact, recycle all the cardboard. So I'm going to throw this over the fence. And then on Wednesday is recycling day. And my husband's been really good uh, since I started back to work. He actually breaks down all the boxes because it takes two cans a week to get rid of all the cardboard that we have from the street up. So battery covers are huge in any kind of kids. So I'm going to assume that this did not work and that's why they took out the battery cover. On the motors, that's the only reason why we take out the battery cover. We test it and we find out. Example, there's a couple pieces in here that I can see that are worth keeping. This is here. There's actually another, there's another piece that goes in that we have listed. But these two pieces, uh, we have sold these. It's a foot in the backrest of a swing. So I'm going to take parts off of on it and a cord. I've cut several pair of these, but I'm going to keep these. They seem to be in really good condition. So glamorous. So here, I, it's pretty heavy, so I'm going to go run that out to the curb. So uh, I just want to check in, see where I, I, I made quite a big, uh, uh, these parts um, so far are keepers, but I'm not sure. And a lot of those in the back were keepers from the previous time. I'm going to sort it, see how many of each of the ones that I have not cataloged that I have, maybe bring it down to like five to 10 and then uh, dispose of the rest. And then we'll just see as we go on if we're selling them. So anyway, I think I'm going to call it quit and gotten rid of a lot. I filled up the neighbor's trash can. 
I'm gonna take you on the side of the yard and show you some of the other things that we got rid of. Okay, so I'm gonna show you everything that I still have out here that I'm not willing to let go of because I feel like I should be able to pull some revenue out of it. Even if half of these things end up to be good and end up to be bringing money to the bottom line, because to be honest, if they had gotten thrown away and not, then it was just money that I would have lost. Okay, so here's what I have left. I have these uh, Graco motors and stuff. These we sell all the time, and I actually found two pair of these in the pile. I've saved these parts off of this guy. Uh, typically just the toys and the pad sell, but there are some other parts that might break, um, and that is these arc mechanisms. So uh, we might keep these or some other parts, and I did want to research them to see if I thought that, to see if any have sold in the last year or so. Uh, these are parts that I kept from a while ago. Uh, last haul, a bunch of these are motors. I do have some of these listed. These don't seem to be selling very quickly. And so uh, more than likely, this will end up going to, unfortunately, landfill. Uh, just might be because it's a newer model and uh, they haven't had time to break. So a lot of the parts that you see on eBay are actually parts from older units. I am actually pulling parts off of newer units. This is totally a part that will break. It came off of a chair. Uh, it goes from like a baby to a kidler chair. And so this is going to break. And I know this is a $20 piece right here. And they'll pay for shipping. I'm actually going to create some videos uh, for parents. Uh, just explaining um, if they want to replace the motor. How do they take out the motor? How do they put the motor back in? And just kind of give them an idea how it works. Um, those kind of videos are evergreen videos. And I think it would be nice. I'm selling the parts. I should show the parents how they come apart and how easy it is to put it back on. So this is all the stuff that kind of just made first cut. I showed you a few of the things that I kept. Um, I did try and go already that we just need to add them to inventory. There's some new things out here. Got to go through all of this. show you what I ended up with over here. You saw that I uh, filled up the neighbor's trash can. Board boxes. Bill will break those down later. They'll go into the recycling can. And then here are items that are either broken, um, parts that probably never be needed uh, just because they're not going to break like the base of the things. We've taken all the toys out. So obviously there's parts on these baby gear uh, pieces, the swings and the baby bouncers and chairs and all the things that babies need that, so such as the chair pad, such as the, uh, you know, the toys. But as you can see of all the parts that I've kept, there's other parts that people need as well. And I'm never surprised when somebody reaches out to me and asks me if I have a part off of a swing that they see I've parted out, um, which is great. I love it. So I think that's going to be it for today. Um, the hubby wants to uh, go have lunch today, so I need to quit pretty soon. Uh, and uh, then I'll probably come work on eBay some more. Like I say, it's not glamorous, but and it's hard work. I just think I like the reward. I like the idea that I'm selling for a profit. So as always, just have a groovy day. Bye. Till next time.